chumps and chumpettes, Chris the Asian here. Guess what I got the other day? Yeah, a quad core CPU, the Q6600. And I'm going to talk about overclocking a little bit with this too. As you can see, standard is uh, 2.4, but I got that bitch to like 3.0. Um, see, four CPUs, not two, not one, four. Um, I want to go over some things with you about overclocking and uh, things you need to adjust in BIOS. Um, first off, update your BIOS. Well, I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the uh, overclocking and adjusting things on the uh, 680i board, the A1 version. Uh, I have EVGA. And uh, as you can see, I think it's this one right here. You see the BIOS versions changed to 2.053.bravo, which is B2. And this used to be P30, but now it's P32. So yeah, you gotta update your BIOS, and uh, let's see. Then you gotta hit delete. Let's get into there. Yeah, yes. Come on, computer. Yes. There we go. Let's see. First off, a couple things you need to do before you overclock. Go to your system clock. Make sure the multipliers on nine, not auto. Let's see. Go to front side bus and memory config. Uh, usually it'll be linked but I have mine unlinked so unlink it and that would be normally 1066 so let me change that as you can see right here this changed it's 2.4 the front side bus of this stock is 1066 and it's 2.4 what I did was I changed it to 1333 and even though it shows 2.998.8 it's rounded up to 3.0 um, why I have it at that because I can I haven't gone any higher yet because I see no need to and if you need to adjust your RAM you adjust it here too but you, I got another video for that so yeah just watch the other one before for the memory thing yeah CPU configuration down here if you had a dual core these two down here would be disabled and now you need to enable it just hit enter select the disable enable and of course you know, hope you guys got common sense and choose enable so all four of your cores are enabled next thing you need to do disable this the limit CPU ID disable the Intel speed step disable the CPU thermal control disable the C1E enhance alt state disable that leave execute disable bit and virtualization technology enabled why because I read this somewhere so just go with it <laughs> next system voltage uh, I don't like stock voltage, but this is what I did. I have my CPU core at 1.45, uh, values 1.4, uh, my CPU front side bus to 1.5, my memory, memory is different, and like I said in my other video, every memory is different, but mine is 2.2 volts. Uh, the Enforce SPP, I have that at 1.45, the, uh, MCP, set that to 1.550 and uh, HT enforce the SVP the MCP 1.4 why is it that why is it those voltages because I read it somewhere I can't remember the site but just go along with it now let's see anything else we need to go over anything anything no just go to save and exit you know save CMOS hit that restart then uh, basically takes you to the post screen and it loads all that crap there for you and let it run to the windows or to your desktop and uh, that should be that yeah and uh, yeah quad core kicks ass um, blah 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 one two three Four, five, six, seven. I want to reduce the boot time, but uh, that's another time. Anyways, that goes up, and as you can see, you can just go ahead and open up things all you want. Let's see, another thing you might need to adjust. on the MS config. Okay, 
go, type in MS config. What you do is you go to start and just type it in there if you have Vista. If you have XP, just go to start run, type in MS config, M S C O N F I G. Then go to your boot and then go to advanced options. As you can see over here, all four cores are working. When I first installed the CPU, only two cores were working because in this advanced boot option, right here it says number of processors. If that's checked, uncheck it. Um, why is this checked? What the hell? Anyways, come on, uncheck. Uncheck, thank you. And you hit OK. I do apply OK. And then your computer should restart. Um, when you do that, number of processors, once you do that, you restart the computer and all four cores should show up. Um, uh, that's, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, just YouTube me. Yeah, YouTube me. Everybody else does. Or you got my Steam or Xfire, bug the hell out of me there too. Yeah, but yeah, this quad core fucking kicks ass. Seriously, I multitask like crazy now, and I've not yet maxed out all four cores yet. I might have maxed out one core or two cores, but um, or even three. But having a quad core, it, people say it's excessive. I thought it was excessive too. It's not. It's the best bang per buck, honestly, for a quad core. Because my E6750, basically same price, but you get two more cores, so... What's there to hurt? The Q6600, if people tell you that CPU is out of date and go with like a Q9300 or something like that, it doesn't make a difference, honestly. If you want a quad core that's affordable, get the Q6600. Um, hope this uh, little video thing is helpful. Yeah. I want to put this on YouTube now. Yeah. Peace.